I've watched my mind a lot. <laughs> and what I see that happens when I'm online too much is I just become cut off from reality. And I notice myself living in my, in my head more than in reality. You know, everyone I've spoken to, man, in the past like few years, they all say the same thing. I just want to be more connected. I want to be more connected with others. Really, as you know, man, that means more connected with yourself. Because you can find that connection on your own. Me being here with you right now, I feel connected. Why? Because connected, that feeling, it's, it's, it's you being present. Now, of course, man, you know, you feel stuff when you're with other people. You get like social vitamins. But you can get that feeling of connectedness with yourself. And uh, <laughs> if you really like that feeling, you might be like me, I just like to say hi to people. I just like the feeling that it creates. And sometimes when I speak to other people uh, who also like say hi to people, who are also quite social, they always say the same thing. They're like, everyone I say hi to appreciates it. Because dude, everyone's playing the same game here, man. We all want to feel it. We all want to feel that presence. But ultimately, man, you don't give a fuck about that. You just care about yourself. Once you are present, you're good. Okay, I, I know that's how I am, right? Also, man, it's a good little, good little point here. When you do get yourself present, like if you do care about being helpful to others, notice when you're present, when you're connected, you are in a much better position to help people and be a good person, if you care about that. <laughs> so I say that because really, you've got to admit you're doing this for yourself. You're putting your phone down, you're not watching YouTube. The reason being is because you're helping yourself. As you know, man, the primary law of this work is help yourself first. Yeah. And that means just having the discernment to see, huh, this technology is slowly and gradually fucking me up. Years ago, I used to hear people say the word life. And when they said it, there was something special about it. I couldn't pick up on what that was. I, I knew there was something in it, but I didn't have that yet. I didn't experience that yet. But I knew that they were pointing to something when they said this word life. And only now, as, as I've become more of a conscious person, do I really see what they mean by life. They mean the opposite of how, you know when you doom scroll and you're like, I feel like fucking shit. It's the opposite of that. It's when you are outside, making eye contact with someone, feeling grounded, and being happy. And when you feel that, if you're conscious, if you cleaned up your soul, if you're like into this work to the extent that you, you know, you do what you need to do, you clean up your diet, you exercise, you go outside. And when you feel the true benefits, really the, the, the spiritual benefits, because what's happening is you're, you're having a clearer experience of reality. Your perception is, is of a higher consciousness and therefore you feel it more. And it's better and it's nicer and it's cleaner. To have a clean soul, everyone, and I mean fucking everyone, doom scrolls and does all those bad habits that you think that you're the only one. No. <laughs> everyone does it, man. It blew my fucking mind when I realized this. I'm still realizing, I'm still waking up to it. It feels like you're the only one. No, everyone does it, man. Even all the top people, even all the you know, successful people or whoever you look up to, man. I, mean, I personally look up to conscious people. Even conscious people, you know, spend way too much time on technology, man. Everyone does it. But it doesn't feel that way when you do it because of that disconnection. So what you've got to do is, listen man, you've got to take a step back. You've got to purify your soul. And the way you do that, man, like very simply, is just by putting the, the device down. You know, one thing that my dad always says to me, man, is like, take screen breaks, man. Even when I was a kid and I was banging out some, some sweet ass, uh, Wii, oh fucking hell, man. PS2, Wii, PS3, PS4. And I, I actually sold my PS4. But when I was banging these out, man, like my dad would always say, like, dude, take screen breaks, go outside, 
touch grass. He never said that bullshit, man. Also, what is that? You see that? <laughs> oh, wait, is that on my neck? No, I think it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Fuck. At the time, I, uh, I had, like, I know it sounds quite generic and bullshitty, but I had um, these action figures. They were like commando marine type ones. And I had like the zip line. And I just thought it was the coolest fucking thing in the whole world to like gear them up, play with them, and, uh, and you know, have them go on the zip line. And like, you know, create narratives and storylines and make some shit up, <laughs> use my imagination. And I remember feeling like, man, I actually prefer this. I can like reflect now and realize like I preferred being in my garden, playing by a tree, playing with these fucking action figures, rather than staring and playing. Uh, what was I playing, man? I'm trying to remember what I was playing. It's important. <laughs> I played a lot of GTA, but that was not when I was like that young, obviously. <laughs> Although I did get it fairly young, man. Um, believe, dude, get this really. When I first got GTA, my dad said to me, you can have the game, but you, you can have the game, but you can't sleep, you can't sleep with any prostitutes. You can't go to the strip club. Video games are actually awesome and, you know, in the self-development space, they don't, they don't get a good rap, dude. You know, because um, for most of us, man, it's just a distraction, isn't it? But if you have really it sounds like I'm, I'm uh, contradicting myself now, but like, dude, if you've lived and you've enjoyed some video games, you know that there is a beauty to them. But for the message of this video, man, you're gonna feel better if you go outside. You're gonna feel so much better, dude. And really, what this video is meant to be about is about not being on YouTube as much. And the reason that YouTube is so difficult, man, is because it is a tool to deepen your own work, you know? I would, I would not have the, the knowledge and experiences that I've had were it not for YouTube that pointed me in the right directions. But still, man, even as someone who's like fairly responsible with my YouTube consumption, I, I've seen many times how it begins to sort of steal your soul. Not quite as bad as pornography, but it creates this, this disconnection, as I said, where you start to like think about things more in your head than you do doing things in the world with people in real life. Yeah. And what you can find yourself in is it's been, you know, a couple of weeks, couple of months, couple of years and you've been watching YouTube every single day. And slowly, man, it kind of like decays your mind. It puts you into just lower vibrational states. It's like a low dopamine escapist life. And listen, man, I've had a huge history with that, with being a really escapist person, watching pornography every day, smoking weed and watching pornography together, using other drugs. Of course, man. What I'm realizing, what I'm waking up to, is that basically man, there are better things. And the sacrifice that you make is worth it. The reason I'm telling you this, man, is because like I'm starting to, you know, live more consciously and I'm sharing with you what's possible. Just literally, man. Create a small positive change by going outside and by reducing your technology, by creating better boundaries by being stricter with yourself. There's a small high that you get, a small reward that you get when you turn down YouTube and you say, you know, I don't need that right now. I'd rather not have any earphones in and just be. The universe really respects that. Well, honestly, man, the universe doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> but your consciousness, your intelligence will appreciate it because there's less noise, there's less distraction. You just have a more simple and pure experience. You know? Okay. I hope this has helped you, my friend. Lots of love. Take care. And as always, man. Peace.